I, uh, I really enjoy it. A lot of a lot of the people performing tonight are friends of mine, and uh, Terrence is great. Uh, I could his his jeans are so tight tonight that I can see his heartbeat through the outline of his penis, <laughs> slightly elevated. <laughs> Welcome to the uh, comedy show here at the Latham Circa Mall. <laughs> like, are they stripping this place? Of a, they, look, there's a hole right there where there was like a glass doorknob they just took out. The bar, oh, we're remodeling. It's gone. Like, I don't, this whole, this is a, a great thing that Mike put together. Give him a round of applause. about his friend, but I'm very thankful that we raised $45 tonight. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Doesn't even cover a copay. <laughs> Thankfully, he passed. Oh, it's a joke. Calm down. Everybody in my family's dead. It's all right. <laughs> uh, everybody in my family really is dead. They all died when I was a little kid. Uh, and it's like, how long am I going to shoehorn that in the fucking conversations for sympathy? You know, 45. I'm still an orphan? Like, come on. <laughs> Do you think it's gonna rain today? I don't know. Uh, my parents died when I was a little boy. <laughs> you wanna have sex? <laughs> the 45 year old orphan. My biggest fear was that I was gonna die alone one day. And then I met a girl, and she's my girlfriend now. And so I no longer fear dying alone. It's a goal. <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. It's fine. Nothing's the matter. Two weeks later. I can't believe you. <laughs> I asked you what's the matter. Yes, that was buffering. <laughs> That's literally our code word for when she's trying to process her thoughts and feelings. I said we have to have a safe word for conversations, not for sex, for fucking conversations. Just say buffering, so I'll know that you're still trying to work it out. <sighs> she is a fucking handful. <laughs> it's nice being in a relationship. I forgot how... Reassuring it feels to be wrong all the fucking time. <laughs> I, I don't even like, I don't even want to tell you some of the shit that she's pulled so far. I had a really bad breakup uh, that extended over like a year and a half and like it, it almost put me in a mental institution. And uh, she finally was asking me like some real vulnerable hardcore shit about it last night. Like, this really happened last night. I'm telling her on the phone. I play this message that the ex left me while we were dating, and then my response to it, and how crazy it made me. And I'm like, yeah, and it's just like my ex wasn't considerate at all, and I just want somebody to be nice to. Hello? Hello? She fucking fell asleep in the middle of that. <laughs> it, it, like, how do you even deal with it? Like, it's so ridiculous that it seems like she f she was inconsiderate while I was crying about someone being inconsiderate. <laughs> but they get away with it. You women do this shit all the time to men. You get away with it because you have vaginas. And that's what we want. Yeah, damn right, you know. <laughs> you gotta, like, women are always complaining about how it's an unfair world. Well, let me tell you something. I can't just go to a bar and drink all night with no money in my fucking pocket. <laughs> and then, like, be flown to Vegas. <laughs> have an Amazon wish list. <laughs> What 
wicked audacity of girls to have a wish list on their like little fucking modeling page. You should buy me this because I'm pretty and I'll never meet you in person, but I really like these shoes. Ooh, and guys are like, yeah, maybe she'll meet me. I don't know. No, but I'm 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 happy that I what she's what is she saying? <laughs> See, that's another thing. They think they could just fucking start talking. You guys are interested. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah? I'm not going to listen to the guy who's been on fucking Comedy Central and nominated for two Emmys. I want to hear what you have to say, darling, when your <laughs> precious, wonderful, deep-seated thoughts. What is that? Oh, you like chicken fingers. Oh, <laughs> Are you done now, or can I get back to um, the, the guy who uh, does this for a living to entertain us and has written stuff out, tried it a number of times, and... Uh, no, no, you have more thoughts? Okay. Because he's afraid that that vagina is going to be fucking closed off. <laughs> like it's going to run away like a leprechaun. <laughs> But see, that's, that's the flip side. Guys have the power, girls have the power in who they allow into their body. Men have the power of who they allow into their heart. Like, so that's why guys lie to get into your body, and then, like, deuces. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't just be a fair exchange, we both enjoy sex, we have sex, and then, no, I have to trick you into thinking that I'm going to give you my power of being in a relationship with you so that I can be inside of your body. It's just a system. I'm just saying, trying to figure out a way around it. Like, I can't have one night stands anymore because um, she's here. And, uh, I'm like, I couldn't for a long time because I... I'm codependent, so I feel guilty because so many guys have been dicks to women where they lie to them and stuff like that. And so I feel like I have to like be in a relationship with a one night stand or whatever. I don't know. I ejaculate regret. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish I could ejaculate ricin or arsenic so I'd never have to see him again too much. <laughs> it's metaphorical. <laughs> you know the best way to get a girl to leave you alone? Send her flowers and tell her I love you. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, for the uh, local residents, um, I'm not saying that you're guilty of this, but just this is always my public service announcement uh, for people that live in Albany, Schenectady, and Troy. Um, Window curtains only cost two dollars more than twin bed sheets. <laughs> I don't enjoy strolling through the neighborhood and seeing a crusty SpongeBob staring at me through the window. It smells like bleach. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, Jim's got a fucking graveyard of tube socks under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, did you clean the room today? Uh, smells like I did, right? 